Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSecPath. In this video, what we're going to be doing is enabling BitLocker on Windows 10. So if you're ready to learn, let's get into the video. Thank you. Alright guys, welcome back. So this is the same machine that we upgraded from Windows 8 to Windows 10. So what we're going to be doing on here is enabling BitLocker, so encrypting our C drive so no bad guys can get into it. So if you want to do this on your laptop, it's best practice. I have it on all my laptops. I always encrypt my drives, and I actually have a BIOS password. So I'm pretty, uh, I am pretty try to secure it as best as possible. But if you want to go ahead and utilize BitLocker that's built into Windows, you can go ahead and use it right within Windows. So. There's a few things that we need to do. I'm not going to do anything. We're going to do everything together. So if we open up our file explorer, we go to this computer. We have this PC, which is a local C drive, and we have a E drive where we're going to put the files. So first things first, what I want to do is right click on here and turn on BitLocker. You guys will probably get this error, right? This error pretty much indicates that, you know, the device cannot use TPM, right? Your administrator must allow the, uh, allow BitLocker without compatible TPM, blah, blah, blah. So the way we enable this is through a local group policy that resides on this Windows 10 machine. Okay. So the way we can go ahead and do that is go ahead and hit start. You can do local group policy. So edit group policy right here all right so let's open this up let's make this bigger all right so in here let's make this here boom, boom, boom. so here we're going to go to under computer uh, configuration administrative tools and in windows components and down here you want to see bitlocker encryption double click bitlocker encryption we can just go i'll just do it to the left and then we have operating system drives and then in under operating system drives, we have all these options. So if we see the option right here, require additional authentication at startup, let's go ahead and, all right. So once you have this open, what you can do is enable this and we can utilize every single thing in here. So make sure allow BitLock without a uh, compatible TPM. This is just if you don't have TPM, this machine doesn't support it, so I have to enable it. All right, so once that's good, we're going to hit apply and hit OK. OK, so now we can X out of here. We can go back to our C drive, this computer, right click on this uh, the C drive, turn on BitLocker. Now we should be able to turn it on. Perfect. Now within here, we we have choose, choose how to unlock the drive. So we can insert a USB or we can enter a password. I have, I want to enter a password and I want to put a fancy password, nice and secure. Make sure you never lose this password. Of course, if you lose this password and you lose that drive, you're screwed. So you enter the password, hit okay, next. And then where do you want to back up the key? So this is the recovery key, God forbid you lose your, you forget your password or whatever, you can recover this, okay? So the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna go ahead and utilize a flash drive. So I have a flash drive here. I wanna do flash drive. I wanna use 32, the 32 gig flash drive, that's perfectly fine. Save, okay, hit next. All right, so now here, what we're going to be doing is encrypting, use, encrypt, use the, the disk space only. So pretty much this is going to only utilize the disk space that's utilized. And if you want to do the entire disk, this is probably take a lot longer. So I'm going to go ahead and just encrypt the first option, use disk space only. Okay. Hit next. All right, so... Here we have choose which encryption mode you want to use. So we have a new encryption mode or we have compatible mode. 
I'm going to use new encryption mode. This is, you know, for pretty much a fixed drive. The compatible mode is just for more drives on the move. So I want to go ahead and choose the, the first option, hit next. All right, so here we have, are you ready to encrypt the drive? And I think I'm ready. So we're going to go ahead and run the BitLocker system check. So make sure it's all compatible. Everything is good to go and hit continue. Okay. All right, so I don't know if you can see because my big head's down there, but it says encryption will begin after your machine reboots. So pretty much we have to reboot the computer. We'll click on here and this, this dialog box will come up. The computer must be rebooted. Hit restart now. We're gonna go ahead and reboot the machine, okay? And once we reboot this machine, we should be prompted to enter the password. But let's just give this a moment. And this is running in VMware. So it's um, um, the beauty of virtualization. It's, it's gorgeous. I love it. Can't go, can't go wrong without it. It's crazy how much you can learn. I wish I had all this stuff when I first started. I've been doing this for now. I was thinking about 16 years. 16 years. Mean, yeah, that's, time flies. All right, so once this machine boots up, we'll go ahead and log into Windows. I think my speakers are on. All right, so BitLock cannot be enabled. That's fine. So we'll see if it's uh, encrypted or not. Let's go ahead and hit a close here. Let's go see why couldn't it be encrypted. Let's go ahead and open up C drive. You know what, what I wanna do really, really quick. Let's go ahead and go to, let's exit out of here. Let's go to control panel. And then let's go to BitLock encryption. Okay. All right, so it is off. Let's see if we turn it on again. Let's see if we can give this one more shot. Let's go ahead and enter a password. That was really strange. Okay, go ahead and hit next. Let's save to a file. Let's go ahead and let's delete this. Delete and I want to put a BitLocker. I can spell key and just save the key there. Perfect. Hit next. Encrypt, okay, it's fine. New encryption, this should be fine. That's fine. And we're gonna go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and restart this again, see if we can give this a shot. Hopefully it'll work now. All right, perfect, there we go. So now this prompt, you should go ahead and put your password, make sure you don't lose that password and then hit enter. And now it will let me into Windows. Okay, and then once we go back into that control panel, uh, BitLocker encryption, we should see it start encrypting that drive. All right, so we added the password. It was weird that the first time it didn't work, but Windows. That's why we work through it together. That's why we learn together. So perfect. So now we're back into Windows. So now let's go back to the control panel. Okay. And then BitLock encryption. And you see now it's encrypting right there. So once this is done, you'll have your encrypted drive. And now if we go to the C drive, you should see this little lock on here. Now we can manage BitLocker and it'll show you right here. Then we can just turn it off. We can remove the password. We can back up the key and, and, and so on and so forth. So let's go back here for a second. Let's go on to our E drive. 
and let's look at the key. This is how the identifier would be. It's fine because I'm going to be removing this so you can copy this and you won't be able to get in, you know, hack my stuff. But um, yeah, so this is the recovery key. This is the identifier. And that's that should be it. So we'll give it one more reboot to make sure it works. We'll go ahead and close that out. Let that do its encrypting. Fix drives. Okay. And it's probably better to actually view in here for the encryption drive for the encrypted drive view it probably uh, do, 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 do. no what is the best view it was tiles I think there we go so here we go so if you see here we see the little lock all right so we should be good and then let's X out of here X out we can close this out close out and let's go ahead and reboot and once we reboot my hands free we should get prompted to that password and now your disk is encrypted hopefully this has been informative for you guys you guys enjoyed it learned something please like subscribe share anything else is give me you know give me a comment and whatever you want to hear whatever you want to learn about um, we'll, we'll learn together. All right, so let's put in our fancy password and we are good to go. So we'll make sure this logs in. It's all good and we should be good to go. What I want to do, and if you want to remove it, we can go ahead and remove it. How long is it? It's a, uh, so let's remove it really quick and I'll show you guys how to do that just in case you want to remove it. So now we're back in, the drive is encrypted, right? So we can go to open up File Explorer, go to this PC, we can see it's encrypted. So we can go to Manage, BitLocker, and then the control panel should open in a second. Remember, patience. Uh, let's try it again, Manage. Okay, did I open up too? Nope, probably this the first time. It uh, took a little second. So now let's go ahead and turn off BitLocker. Turn it off, it should be fine. Now it's decrypting the drive. But if we reboot, let's see if we get the password to reboot one last time. Let's give this a second. Excuse me. Dun, 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 dun. No more password. Voila. So there, that's how you turn it on. That's how you encrypt your drive. Once you're done, if you don't want the encryption, that's how you go ahead and remove the encryption. If we go back in, it's probably gonna say decrypting because it was probably encrypting some stuff. So we can go ahead and check that. And that should be the end of the video. So let's go ahead and open up there's no more lock on here and now if we go ahead and go to control panel and we open up disk encryption it's going to be decrypting because it probably encrypted some and that's it that's pretty much it it's very simple you know hopefully you guys you know enjoyed this please like subscribe again like i said and if you have any comments leave them below hit me up on social media and i'm here to help thank you so much for checking me out and until next time have a good one